Autism Speaks. Autism Spectrum Disorder and Autism are both general terms for a group of complex disorders of brain development. These disorders are characterized in varying degrees by difficulties in social interaction, verbal and nonverbal communication, and repetitive behaviors. A new survey from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention shows one in 50 school-aged children has autism, a figure that is much higher than a recent government estimate of one in 88 children. Health experts say the new estimate doesn't necessarily mean autism is on the rise, but suggests that doctors are diagnosing the disorder more often, especially in older children with milder cases. With the number of families with children with autism increasing, it is important to examine the stress these families feel in order to be able to create and provide resources for them. We focus on the stress experienced by siblings of children with an autism spectrum disorder, financial strain and instability, and parenting stress. Research on the effects of having a sibling with ASD has provided variable results, especially regarding the nature of their attachments and relationships. Generally, these siblings have greater maturity and responsibility, as well as a fierce loyalty to their sibling. However, the neurotypical siblings may also feel guilty of their own health and feel resentment towards their parents' preoccupation. If I have more kids, I don't want the no, we're done. of having this sibling take care of him, <laughs> so I want him to be functional. My name's Matias and I'm 8 years old. My brother's Christian and he's tending as autism. What I like about Christian is his sense of humor. He makes me laugh a lot. The most fun I've been with Christian is when we go into the ocean and we play. When Christian are in, in the ocean, we, you can't really tell Christian has autism. Christian would like to swim across the ocean. It's hard for him to talk, and when it does, it's like it just comes out with, like, not right. He has the words locked inside of him. Sometimes people stare, and it's a little uncomfortable. At night, there's always a loud sound of Christian crying in the other room. It's one of the times that's hard to have a brother with autism. I would like the world to actually find something that could help Christian with his autism. 39% of families with children on the autistic spectrum have reported that their child's condition has caused some sort of financial strain. Well, let's see, I've written off $30,000 in medical every year for the last five years. You hemorrhage money left, right, and center. One of the biggest reasons these families face financial instability is because over half of them have needed to greatly reduce or halt employment in order to look after their child. From a supervision level, it's like having a perpetual two or three year old. Healthcare costs create an additional financial strain as 35% of families have needed to find additional income in order to support their child's medical bills. And at one point, the supplement bill, when we were seeing the Dan oh, doctor, good. the supplement bill was $700 a month. Take her. That's a couple of car payments we could do. Because we've been stretching every dollar until it begged yeah. for mercy. It generally costs $3.9 million to support a child on the autistic spectrum over the course of their lifetime. Mothers of children with autism experience stress mostly related to physical health problems. This is likely because most often mothers are the primary caregivers and experience more of the physical impacts of caregiving. It is also common for mothers to perceive low social relationship support. You learn real quick that speak you up, speak people you. you thought you wanted to spend time uh, with uh, you uh, uh, just aren't comfortable anymore. So our social life, my social life revolves around the internet and other parents doing the same treatment stuff that we're doing. Hey. So it's been very isolating. <laughs> Fathers experience stress mostly related to financial problems and finding time for their own activities. He's been my three-year-old for five more years. Starting to run low on money, and I said, you know, I have a 401k, I can cash out of it. said it was not about my future at that point, it's, it's about Donna's yes. future. Parenting stress is also higher in parents of children who exhibit more problem behaviors, such as irritability, social withdrawal, and non-compliance. Parents of children without disabilities have the greatest risk of divorce during their son or daughter's childhood. The rate of divorce is 13.8% and greatly decreases after their child reaches about 8 years of age. 
However, the parental divorce rate of children with an ASD is 23.5% and remains high throughout their son or daughter's childhood, adolescence, and early adulthood. It just doesn't matter anymore. The little bickery crap that all relationships have, we, it just doesn't matter anymore. It's not important. Then we have much bigger things to worry about. You, you, get, you get upset for a second or two, and then it's all yeah. about him. The universe revolves around oh, <laughs> Parents today have numerous treatment options for their children with autism, from biomedical, pharmacological, and dietary intervention to education and therapeutic methods. However, all these treatments require parents to invest a considerable amount of time, energy, and financial resources. In future practice, we recommend a multi-level resilience-based approach, which focuses on the family's strengths and protective factors while reducing risk factors. This approach helps to expand the family's network of friendship with other parents and siblings in similar situations. Parent-to-parent -parent information sharing groups are supported by professionals who provide consultations, information, and assistance locating evidence-based treatments. Parents are also guided through the meaning-making process, by which they balance an appreciation of strengths against the developmental challenges. Siblings, siblings participate in time-limited focus conversations as a semi-structured interview, which emphasize problem-solving, effective expression of feelings, self-regulation, and practicing social sensitivities. The intervention program of Developmental Cascades takes into account the severity of ASD, the functioning level and age of the child with ASD, and the timing of intervention in the family's life cycle. This strategic targeting and timing by clinicians, communities, and policymakers will promote and optimize resilience in families of children with ASD. In conclusion, to a varying degree, families with children with autism face stressors relating to sibling dynamics, financial burden, marital problems, and both physical and mental stress outcomes. I have autism and I'm autistic.